Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. It's Neil here, coming at you with some MLS uniform concepts that have been transferred to hockey. So what I mean by that is that someone has taken the MLS teams, Major League Soccer, and transformed those brands, those teams into NHL uniforms. We've definitely done this in the past, but it's been a while, and I have to apologize to the designer here who is um, Oweva, Oweva, I don't know how you pronounce that actually, but they sent these in in late 2022. So I am sitting on a bunch of videos kind of like this, and um, it's time to get them done. So I wanna start off with this one. This is one of the older ones that I have, if not the oldest one. So let's jump in and let's take a look. I do have the first one up here on my screen, so I will bring that up. And this is this is going to be a reaction video, but I wanted I had to bring this up because I couldn't remember who submitted them, and usually people put their their, uh, you know, like their design name at the top or whatever. So technically I've seen this one. Everything else from beyond this point is going to be a true reaction. So um, I, you know, full disclaimer, I'm not a big MLS fan or soccer fan or, you know, football, whatever, but I am a uniform fan and I do like branding, design, logos, all that good stuff. So let's, let's give her opinions here. Atlanta United. So just from a kind of design lens here, I like the colors. I think the colors are very complimentary. Even the gold that's in there, it, um, it works well with the black, it works well with the red. Design-wise, I'm not a huge fan of the straight up vertical kind of striping, but I know that this isn't an NHL video. This is a soccer branding. This is, you know, soccer jerseys are different than, than, um, than hockey jerseys. That's just the way that it is. Um, but sometimes it is odd to see that branding or that design language on an NHL uniform or a hockey uniform. So I have to at least mention it. I think it looks a little bit odd, especially considering the same design goes right down into the pants. I think if the pants were a solid black or a solid red, maybe it would look a little bit better, but let's move on. Let's let's get a, a, a proper reaction here of a new one. Ooh, okay, this is good. Austin. Well, okay, so this, this is the cool thing about this process is that, well, number one, everyone, if you have the NHL games, NHL 20, 21, whatever you play, I don't care, but you, it's fun to go in and to go through the process of creating your own team because there's a team builder in there. You get to design how your jerseys look, your logo, whatever. And it, this this is kind of like that, except for you're using pre-existing teams just in a different sport. So it's really cool to see uh, just a, a different sports organization on an NHL uniform. This is a really good example because it translates so well. Yes, we do have colors like this in the NHL but it only really kind of associates with one specific jersey. It's the Dallas Stars alternate jersey. So I see that in here, especially in the numbers, but this looks really good. Like I, if this was an NHL team or a hockey team, I think it would be one of the better looking ones in the NHL, just based on the contrast of the bright green with the dark black, it really stands out nicely. So I do like this solid green socks. That's probably my least favorite part, but everything else I'm on board. Uh, next up, Charlotte. Um, don't like the logo. That is not the designer's fault. I assume that's just the logo of the team. I don't know this league well. I don't know these teams well, so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So not a fan of the logo, but I like everything else that's going on in terms of color and arrangement. Lovely jersey. Love that the shoulders up here are, are black. That just has that provides that little bit of section at the top just to provide balance to the color down below and the black. I find the flags on the shoulders distracting if those were kind of color matched, I guess, to uh, to the shoulders. If we go, actually, if we go back and look at the previous jersey, that's exactly what happened on the arms. There was the state flag of Texas that was on there, and it was blended into the jersey. With that said, I don't think this is right. I don't know if it's ever right to change the colors of a flag, um, but if I'm looking at this jersey, it blends in. If I'm looking at this jersey, it does not blend in, it stands out. So I'm, I'm a little bit conflicted on what the proper thing to do here is, but I do like this uniform quite a bit. Great transition from pants to socks. Next up, ooh, wow, okay. Absolutely love the colors. Again, not a fan of the logo, but really like the colors. Light blue, dark blue, the red contrast nice with both. It has vibes of the city flag, which you see there on the shoulder, the, the Chicago city flag. I, I like this a lot. Maybe a little bit too much striping in the bottom section of the arm. Might have to move that up, maybe, or just add a little bit more separation. I don't know. I'm not sure. It is uh, quite busy down in the, in the socks as well, but I love the colors here. Next, Cincinnati. Wow. Okay. Those are some bright shorts. <laughs> 
or short, not shorts, pants. Okay, technically they're shorts. We call them pants, but technically those are shorts. I don't know why I said shorts though, but uh, maybe because they just look like swim shorts or something. But this is a this is a very conflicting <laughs> uniform for me. I I really like the jersey and I like the design in the background because that screams soccer or football. I mean, let's be honest, it's football. But the pants are throwing me off big time. But uh, cool jersey. Next, Colorado Rapids. Wow. Okay. So absolutely with the colors and the way that the design comes up from the pants into the jersey, I think that is a great integration as well as the top of the gloves into the bottom sleeves of the jersey. So good. I would kind of, I would almost make it not symmetrical though in the bottom middle of the jersey because it comes to a point in that kind of crotch region. You've got a left little mountain and a right little mountain offset it, make one a taller or something just to add. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. Mountains by nature are just not symmetrical um, unless it's like Mount Fuji or something, but that's different. That's a volcano. But you know what I mean. I, I, I pref just prefer not, uh, not so symmetrical when we're looking at mountains on things. I don't mind it so much on the arm. Uh, I like the colors. The light blue with the red looks good. I get, not a fan of the logo. I, get, I guess I'll say that, but uh, yeah, it's nice. Probably the best one so far. Wow, Columbus. Okay, <laughs> what what is happening here? We've got checkered socks, slanted striping in the pants, jet black gloves for the most part, jet black helmet, and a giant yellow square on the front. It reminds me of, and I know you guys don't have this, but in Canada we have a company called Loblaws, and they have, actually just let me, I'll look this up as I'm talking. They have a classic, like, low-key kind of design of their signs, and it looks very similar to this. I think it's Loblaws. Okay, I found it. So technically, technically I was right, but not exactly. So Loblaws is the parent company. They've got a bunch of companies below them, Superstore, um, Shoppers, No Frills. It was the No Frills kind of look that I was thinking of. And um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll put that up on the screen so you guys can see it. But that's what it reminded me of. I don't... Most of my viewers are American, so that's an insignificant comparison, but I'm Canadian, so I gotta mention it. Moving on, Dallas. Okay, do like this logo. I do like this logo a lot. Me likey, me likey that logo. And the shoulder patch looks better because we looked at the Texas state flag earlier on the green jersey, but this branding, this color arrangement matches the flag. So that, that shoulder patch, AKA the flag, looks perfect on there. This is really good. I like this a lot. This might be my favorite so far. Next, we got uh, DC United. Uh, I like this a lot immediately, except for the socks. I think there's a missed opportunity with the socks. You've got this beautiful stripe that spans from arm to, to torso to arm, and it, it, it seamlessly goes through the jersey, even through the logo, which is a little odd, but it looks good. But the socks are left blank. That's a missed opportunity. I think you could just replicate the exact same striping in the middle of the socks. That's very, very hockey, very NHL themed. Um, yeah, this looks good. I really like this. Very simple, but works very well. Next, we've got Houston. Okay, so um, I'm a little confused by this. I've never seen socks with that kind of repetitive striping down by the bottom of the socks. It almost looks like an additional lacing from the skate. On the, that's just very strange. Um, the colors are good. I don't love the kind of lacing waist belt that's higher striping that's happening there. It's, that's not for me. I do like the shoulders. I like the striping on the shoulders and a bit of a, a I can't tell what that is. Is it a logo or something? I'm not sure, but looks looks good. Miami, okay. <laughs> I would, as, as weird as it is to look at this, it looks like a big pink peppermint here, but I, I think that as weird as it is, it kind of would be nice to see a team do this just to see what it would look like on the ice. Um, the socks are crazy being all black. That is that is wild, but um, it's definitely interesting for sure. Next, Galaxy. Yep, I do like this. I think the I think the stripes in the background of the logo off to the um, the left and the right. There's like two sections of it. I think those are pretty cool actually. I like the bottom of the sleeves. I want to see more of the bottom of the sleeves. It almost looks like a rocket taking off or something. I'd like to see that. Again, with the solid the solid colored socks are really are really throwing me here. But this is nice. Next, the Angels. Okay, I love that logo. That is that is a phenomenal logo, especially colorized like that. It looks so good on black. Don't actually love the shoulders though. I think I would 
I would make this an all black jersey and just go, you know, just just embrace it. I guess uh, the gold socks are again bold. Maybe maybe a bit of a yellow stripe at the bottom of the jersey just to separate from the pa- from the pants a little bit. It's almost a little bit too much black in like the midsection area, but I don't know. Okay, Minnesota. Whoa. Okay, these are these are some colors for sure. Uh, it, it reminds me of Argentina, the Argentina flag a little bit, but yeah, this is this is nice from a a, a specific shade of blue. This is really nice. Uh, black complements nicely. White complements nicely too. Um, I do, I feel like the black on this on the gloves is a little bit out of place. I want to see almost more black somewhere in the middle section of the of the uniform. Maybe in the pants, maybe in the socks. It's good though. Next, Montreal. Okay, so. It almost looks like a, a futuristic cop or something. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not sure, but lots of black up top and barely any black in the bottom section of it. So maybe a little conflicting there. Next, Nashville. Okay, really cool colors. First of all, really really cool colors. I feel like you could make from like here over also purple, and then the top of the shoulders purple, and just have like a yellow stripe in the middle of the jersey. I think that might have been a little bit better. But it's not too bad. Uh, next, the Revolution. Okay, so I'm assuming any stands for New England, but uh, pretty simple. Stark red pants, stark blue socks, pretty much a stark blue jersey. Not a whole lot to say here. Uh, next, New York City. I do like this one immediately. The the two shades of blue look wonderful together. Don't like that one shoulder patch on the jersey though. It's a little little distracting. Um, overall, no, pretty good. Next, the NY Red Bulls, New York Red Bulls. Okay, so this, I mean, we've seen, we see Red Bull stuff all the time in, in racing, um, and, you know, in F1, in, in other sports as well. They are all over the place in, in aviation, in aviation even. So, yeah, this is exactly what I would probably expect from a Red Bull team. I mean, yeah, looks good. Again, not digging the, the solid colored socks. Uh, Orlando City, nice bottom sleeve design to mimic or replicate the kind of design language of the logo. Wonderful decision there. I really like that a lot. Helmet is gold. Pants are yellow. Jersey has yellow accents. So I think the color of the helmet is a little bit off, but I do like this uniform. Uh, Philly. Okay, I immediately have confliction here. I don't think that the pants should be the lighter blue. I think they should be the darker blue. And I think that the sock should maybe be the lighter blue with a bit of dark blue influence. Um, it just, it's, you've got so much yellow up top, you've got so much light blue in the middle and you've got so much dark blue at the bottom. It just doesn't, it doesn't jive together too well, but it's okay. Next, Portland Timbers. I like this a lot immediately. Colors are, are very, very nice. I like the orange with the green. It's not something that we see in, uh, in the NHL, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, this is really good. I would like to see actually the Minnesota Wild just come up with something kind of like this. I think this would be really cool just to, to keep the green, but to switch maybe a little bit of the red, throw it out, switch the yellow, throw it out, introduce some orange. I think that would be cool. Okay, Real Salt Lake. Okay. Um, the logo, it's okay. Very, very soccer, very football. Yes, we got some stripes in the socks. Very nice. Doesn't match the striping from the jersey, but that's okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's very... Very McDonald's in the gloves, I feel, but I don't really get that vibes from the rest of the jersey, just in the gloves, but it's okay. Uh, the Earthquakes, very cool kind of blacked out uniform here. I like the gloves, I like the socks a lot. The skates look really good. Logo is decent. I see a possibly a puck that was, thro- was thrown in there. That's a nice addition. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I like the, the contrast of that shade of blue with the black. Wow, okay, Seattle Sounders. This is a very yin yang jersey. It's, it's different, but you know what? It might be able to work, actually. I don't know if it would be at the top of anyone's list, but I don't know if it would be at the bottom of anyone's list either. Next, the Sporting KC. I like the colors. The light blue and the, and the dark blue look very good together. Everything else is good. Logo's good. Let's move on. St. Louis. Oh, whoa. What is happening? Is that is that is that logo sideways on purpose? I don't... I'm not really sure. It extends on the left, extends on the bottom, extends on the right. It looks like a mistake, but it kind of works as like all over the place as it is. I, I kind of like it actually. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this one. 
Next, the Toronto FC. Nice jersey. The logo looks really, really good on there on a hockey jersey with the red, or, yeah, with red in the back. Helmet, I really like as well. That kind of light gray looks good, or I guess charcoal gray, not light gray. Uh, pants, maybe would like to see some of that gray in there, and socks, maybe some red stripes. Next, the Vancouver Whitecaps. Okay, this is really, really good. I like, I really like this a lot. This is probably top three so far, actually. Yeah, great amount of blue, light blue up top. Balanced nicely with the blue in the in the pants. Could maybe have some kind of dark blue at the top of the pants just to kind of help that blending. Uh, nice bottom of the sleeves on the jersey. Good stuff. Oh, that was the last one. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta go back through and pick my favorite. I, I genuinely do not know what my favorite is. I'm gonna have to look at these. Okay, a couple of honorable shout outs. Chicago for sure. Really, really like the colors in that one. Um, shout out to the Colorado one as well. I really like the kind of transition um, overall with this one. Great, um, great design here. I think in my second position, I'm gonna give it to the white caps, the Vancouver one, the one we just looked at at the end there. But overall, my favorite, which is, you know, after, after I've looked at all of these again, my kind of, my even my own opinion surprises me a little bit, but I'm gonna go with DC. It was one of the more simple designs that we looked at. And I kind of look at it and see nothing that I would change other than you know, adding that kind of striping that we see in the jersey down in the socks. Other than that, I think it's quite perfect. It's very minimalistic. It, um, it looks great from a, from a color lens. You've got that red just contrasting so nicely with the black, uh, not any other crazy colors. There's white on there, which is uh, balanced nicely with the striping a bit in the gloves. And um, yeah, I mean, I think this is a really, a really low key, but really good uniform. Like from a hockey viewer or fan, I guess, if I was watching a game and I saw a team come out wearing this, I'd be like, yeah, you know what? That looks actually looks pretty good. So that's gonna wrap it up. That it was my favorite. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Awava, for sending those in. I appreciate you. And I do apologize that it's taken so long, like a year and a half for me to produce this video, but I hope you're, hope you're still watching and I hope you can sim submit more stuff in the future. Let me know down below in the comment section what was your favorite that you saw in this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. That definitely helps me a lot. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. That helps the channel even more. And just to let you guys know, if you're still watching at this point in the video and you're a long time viewer, do you remember when I went to Vegas in 2018 and I was there for three weeks and I saw Vegas go on their big playoff run and they made a bu bunch of vlogs and then the vlogs like kind of stopped and there was just like final vlog that was never made. I finally made it or I finally edited it rather and it's ready to post. So that's actually coming tomorrow. It's been six years since then and I finally got around to editing it. And uh, yeah, so you'll see that uh, tomorrow actually. So if you wanna, wanna tune into that, that would be great. Thank you once again for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.